So we want to go back to a specific questions that's of concern to viewers in Greater Minnesota. Viewers in Jackson and Pipestone are concerned about um, uh, MnDOT's uh, mowing permit mm. and requirements. Uh, and a viewer in Pipestone raises the issue of uh, permits to mow road ditches before August and um, how that's uh, going to develop in this session. Somebody here needs to explain to our viewers what that's all about and what, if anything, the legislature is going to do about it. I'm looking at you, <laughs> Representative Torkelson. Well, I'm happy to address it. You know, I've been, <clears throat> I grew up on a farm in south central Minnesota, and my, our farm was right on State Highway 4. And uh, we bailed those ditches since I was, and I was working on a bail rack since I was able to pick up a bale. And, you know, stacking bales on a bale rack that's sitting like this is a real art because you don't want them to just fall over the side. And uh, I learned how to do that. Uh, that's kind of off the point. The, the Department of Transportation. You learn all kinds of things at this program, <laughs> Representative Omar. So, Turns uh, out, yeah. The Department of Transportation kind of abruptly came out uh, this year and was going to put in place a permit system for ditch mowing that is just, in my mind, unnecessary. Um, it's there's one of the problems is in state statute there's a statute that says you're not supposed to mow a ditch before August 1st and you're supposed to leave stubble 12 inches high well the 12 inches high is totally impractical can't be done and mowing before after not mowing before August 1st results in poor quality hay um, I would like to dial this way back um, I think we should target there are some ditches that are good wildlife habitat we should target those, we should identify those and set those aside and protect them. But the rest of our ditches, we should allow farmers to do what they've always done, uh, get out there and cut the hay, because frankly, it's good for the road system to maintain these ditches. If you don't mow them, they'll grow up in weeds and trees, and then the state will have to t take the burden, the expense of mowing them themselves. Uh, and that's, uh, I know very well. The Department of Transportation doesn't have a lot of extra money laying around to do more work than they're already doing today. Uh, they've come back some from their original requirements, but I don't think they've come back far enough. Uh, we will be introducing legislation very soon to dial this down even further. Mowing, anything about mowing? I have nothing to add on mowing. Mowing, anything to add about mowing? It's, it's Representative Moore? largely been about wildlife. I, I've learned so much. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, we've talked about enough. We'll talk 